Problem solving, multiplication and division. Discover, here we have a mall. You can see all those things for sale. And it says, question 1A, a mall needs 57 party poppers. How many bags of party poppers does he need to buy? How much does it cost a mall to buy the bags? Question 1B, the cost of three bouncy balls is £1.26. How much does one bouncy ball cost? Have a think about those questions. So let's share the answers. Question 1A, well, if one bag contains 20 party poppers and a mall needs 57 party poppers, let's see on a number line how many bags we need. So one bag will give us 20, two bags will give us 40, and three bags will give us 60. So if a mall wants 57, he needs to buy three bags and he'll have three party poppers left over. So if a mall needs three bags of party poppers and each bag costs £2.50, how much will that cost altogether? So here we have £2.50 and we're going to partition that into £2.50. Now the calculation below, we've got our £2. I'm going to multiply that by three, by three bags. Okay, so two times three is six pounds. And then we've got 50 pence. Okay, 50 pence times three bags is one pound 50. Okay, so we've partitioned the price. So now we need to put those answers back together again. Six pounds plus one pound 50 is seven pounds 50. So the total cost of three bags of party poppers is seven pounds 50. And here you can see a visual representation of that in our bar model. Three bags of party poppers are £2.50. So altogether, that costs £7.50. Question 1B says, the cost of three bouncy balls is £1.26. How much does one bouncy ball cost? So we need to divide 126 pence by three. Okay, to find out how much one ball costs. So on our part whole model here, we need to find the biggest chunk possible to put in the first part. Okay, so I'm going to do now my three times table. So it's three, six, nine, 12. Okay, so if four threes are 12, I know that 40 threes are 120. That's using my related facts. So four times three is 12. So 40 times three is 120. So I'm going to put that in my part whole model. And if I put 120 in the first part, how much am I going to put in the second part? Well, I'm going to put six in there because the whole number is 126. So how many threes are there in six? Two threes are six. So six divided by three is two. So 126 divided by three is 42. Okay, looking at our answers there. So one bouncy ball costs 42 pence. Think together, question one. A mall is buying some more items. Question 1A. How much do six bags of yo-yos cost? How much do six bags of yo-yos cost? Okay, so if one bag costs four pounds and 12 pence, how much does six bags cost? So first of all, I'm gonna partition four pounds and 12 pence into four pounds and into 12 pence. So, First of all, I'm going to say six lots of four pounds. Six times four is 24. So six times four pounds is 24 pounds. And now I'm going to multiply the pence. Okay, six lots of 12. We should know our times tables now. Six lots of 12 is 72. So six times 12 pence is 72 pence. 
So we put these answers now into the pounds and pence. 24 pounds and 72 pence is 24 pounds and 72 pence altogether. So six bags of yo-yos cost 24 pounds and 72 pence. Question 1b. How much do four packs of pencils cost? Question 1b. How much do four packs of pencils cost? Now, if one pack of pencils costs 97 pence, how much do four packs cost? So that's 97 pence times four lots. Okay, so I'm going to use my column multiplication here. So I'm saying, say, four ones times seven ones. Four times seven is 28. So that's eight ones and two tens. So my eights go in the ones column, my two tens go in the tens column. So now I'm saying four lots of 90. Okay, well, my related facts, four times nine is 36. So four times 90 is 360. 360 plus two tens. 360, 370, 380. Okay, so I'm going to put that in 388. So it costs 388 pence. And what would that be if we put it into pounds? It would be three pounds and 88 pence. Four packs of pencils cost three pounds and 88 pence. Question two, Jen buys five jigsaw puzzles. The total cost is four pounds and 55 pence. How much does each jigsaw puzzle cost? Let's have a look at the answer. So Jen buys five jigsaw puzzles and altogether they cost four pounds and 55 pence. So the first thing we're going to do is change that amount into pence. So four pounds, that's 400 pence. So four pounds and 55 pence is 455 pence. And so we need to think of 455 pence and we're going to divide it into five equal parts. Right, so I'm going to use a bar model now. And I've got 455 and I'm going to divide it into five equal parts. Well, let's have a look at this in a part whole model now. So 455, if I build up my part whole model. In this first part, I want to put the biggest chunk possible. So I'm going to think of my five times table. So it's 455. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So nine fives are 45. So I'm thinking of a related fact here. Nine times five is 45. So if nine times five is 45, 90 times five is going to be 450. Because times it by 90 is going to make it 10 times bigger. So my answer now is 10 times bigger. So that first chunk can be 450. And that is 90 times five. So I can put that into my bar model now. And there we go. So I've got all those 90s in. Five lots of 90 is 450. But our total is 455. So what have we got left over? We've got five. Well, what is five divided into five equal parts? I think we should know that. Five divided by five is one. Okay, so we've got that now into our bar model. So we can see that we made 91. Okay, five groups of 91. So that is 91 pence. So 455 pence divided by five is 91 pence. Each jigsaw puzzle costs 
91 pence. And if you finished all the work in your book, here's the challenge questions. Answers at the end.